welcome to Olaf's Old Timer. A bit misleading today, uh, as I want to talk a bit um, about a rather modern car, uh, the S212 350 CDI E Class T model, which I'm driving today, and doing it uh, very happily so. Um, I'm already in the car for about an hour driving time. Uh, average gas consumption is at 6.8 liters per 100 kilometers, which is actually pretty good for a 3 liter V8 diesel engine from 20, 2010. And um, yes, the car is running perfectly fine. What I want to tell you is. Um, that I did have an issue with the car. Um, the chain uh, in this car, it's not, uh, the engine is not driven by a belt, but uh, a duplex um, metal chain, which usually is good for, depending on usage and what, what other uh, circumstances uh, for, I would say, and I would expect for 400,000 kilometers. Um, this car now has clocked 366,000 kilometers. And for a couple of thousand kilometers, um, I did have a chain red link when I, tried, uh, when I started the car. Um, that's rather unfortunate and in the beginning I didn't really hear it I thought well it's an old engine it needs to build up oil pressure for the um, hydraulic um, valve um, dampers fortunately I don't dang so well sorry Hmm, the camera fell down. So, anyway, you get a new perspective. Uh, now, uh, where did I stop? So, uh, the Hydrostöße, the hydro damping, hydro adjusting of the valves, I thought that was the issue um, causing the noise, and um, it started really, really softly, but after a couple of months, it was pretty obvious to me, this is the chain rattling. As I said, 360,000 kilometers, maybe not that unusual, but I think it's way too early for that. Anyhow, um, what uh, I did uh, was, of course, I turned to uh, my favorite uh, workshop and asked them, hey guys, uh, chain is rattling, can you help me? Can you change the chain? Uh, turns out you need a special tool, a uh, special Mercedes defined tool, which is not, well, maybe it is available on the open market, but of course, who wants to buy that? It won't be cheap. Um, of course, some people know people and can maybe borrow this tool. Well, my, my, my garage, they couldn't do it. Um, so I started asking around for all, not for all, but um, reliable, independent uh, workshops to fix this engine. And I asked one, two, three, four. None of them was willing to fix this car. Um, many had uh, also um, the idea. Uh, or the assumption uh, that also some gear wheels in the engine might be worn. In the end, very complicated um, repair. Um, maybe even with the need to take the engine out of the car, so very costly. So I heard up to 4,000 euros as uh, cost estimates from the independent workshops. In the end, anyway, they didn't want to fix the car. Um, so, um, what do you do? So, I did ask uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, and went there. Um, I had uh, two 
uh, Mercedes um, um, workshops, uh, one in Hamburg, one in my hometown, and um, the one in Hamburg um, said, yeah, we have an expert to do this kind of repair, but he's only back in, uh, in October, and uh, at that time it was August, so I did not agree to that, so I went to uh, the Mercedes shop in my hometown, and uh, they said, well, bring the car on Monday, and uh, we will take a look at it. We need to um, take out the chain tensioner, and in that opening, we have a tool. We can, uh, yeah, we can stick in there and measure um, if the chain is lengthened. And uh, the rattling, of course, comes from from a lengthened chain. Um, yeah, bring it on Tuesday. We will we will take a look, and then we can tell you what it will cost and uh, when we can do it. So I took the car there on the weekend because it was more convenient for me. And on Monday already, Monday morning, they told me, "Yeah, we uh, already took a look. It's the chain. We can do it. Um, we will email you our cost estimate." At that uh, point in time, uh, the estimate said. I think 2,700 or 2,800 euros, which for this car being made in 2010, being 14 years old now, um, phew, that was uh, not what I wanted to hear. Anyway, um, they had included an oil change, and this engine I think uh, takes eight liters the good stuff so um, I said please take that out. take that out they did no worries um, and as uh, as an old-timer uh, customer with the other cars and being member in the most common um, Mercedes Club in Germany the VDH um, they grant 18% on the parts not on the labor but on the parts so but that was uh, included up front, so that was quite open and nice. Um, yeah, without the oil change, um, the estimate was um, reduced to 2,400 euro. And, well, as I said, from the independent workshops, I already had heard 4,000 euros. <laughs> hmm. So, okay, I didn't really have another alternative. Uh, I want to keep this car. I want to drive this car. It's very well maintained every inspection has taken place every oil change has been done it's in perfect condition it's not scratch or dented so um, I said yes please repair the car when can you do it they said oh we can do it this week still maybe you can have it on Friday turns out Friday noon I call them they said well you need to be patient a, a bit more but you can have the car this afternoon well perfect so um, again, I was really, really surprised, um, plus um, it was quite remarkable to me uh, that a car workshop was working on a Friday afternoon. In the end, I could pick up the car Friday afternoon, 5.30 uh, p.m., the car was washed, the car was working, and I didn't have to pay right away. I've never experienced that. No matter where I went, you had to have your card ready or pay in cash, otherwise you won't get the keys. Well, they were friendly, saying, hey, here's the car, sorry we don't have the invoice ready for you. We can't even tell you how much it is because we didn't have time to do it. We fixed the car, we test drove it, everything is fine. If you want to talk to the mechanic, please call on Monday because now he's gone. So that was extremely good service. I think um, yeah the car is fixed it runs fine perfectly fine um, in the meantime I received the invoice and it said 2,100 euros 300 euros less than the final um, estimate I think that's that's excellent I'm happy the car is happy it runs um, I assume the engine is good for many, many, many more miles. Um, 
of course it has two uh, two turbos hmm they must not break in 800 meters but, um, at the roundabout take the first exit and fight on fighter yeah, sorry for that um, I'm, obviously I'm driving um, yeah but the chain is good um, the engine is well maintained yeah so um, wanted to share this Mercedes-Benz original parts experience with you um, yeah thanks for listening thanks for um, joining this episode and um, yeah talk to you soon uh, next video 100% sure is about old cars so stay safe and healthy and uh, have a In great day meters, thank you bye at the roundabout take the first exit and fight on fighter